Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois. I originally didn't even have this video planned to film, but I'm rushing to film and edit this video. Well, because my free trial of epidemic sound is about to expire. <laughs> So a lot has been going on recently and I thought I should make this life update video for the 10 people that follow this channel. <laughs> yeah, so let's just get right into it. This video is meant to be a quickie but a goodie. For the first life update, I published a paper. Yay! Definitely go check it out. It's a scintillating read. Highly recommend sending it to all your friends and family. Okay, I'm willing to bet that this video is probably gonna get more views than the amount of views that my paper gets. But you know, if you find yourself waiting in a long line at the DMV or waiting in a long line for your coffee order and you're bored, you don't know how to pass the time and you want to read something that is enlightening and will really stretch the boundaries of your imagination, well, good thing I published a paper for you to read. I'm just kidding. So this paper was on a project that I started when I was an internet merc in the computational chemistry department, video on that coming soon. I promise when I have the chance, I will sit down and film that video. And the paper is on deep learning and quantum mechanics, two of my favorite things. I actually had a lot of fun doing this project and I feel like I learned a lot doing it. I'll provide the link in bio. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Feel free to comment your thoughts. You know, let's, let's start a discussion. What if every researcher, instead of publishing a paper, they made a YouTube video on it. Journal of YouTube, impact factor, infinity. No, I'm just kidding. That would definitely be second life update. I am going to medical school. So why am I going to medical school, you ask, you know, with this whole YouTube thing taking off? <laughs> well, because I need content for my YouTube channel. So if you couldn't tell, that was a joke. This is one of the reasons why I decided to make this live update video because I'm going to start making videos in a different direction from the previous videos that I've made on this channel. I'm probably going to start posting more medically related content and I didn't want you know my previous viewers to be confused on this non-computational chemistry slash bioengineering related content. So where am I going? I I am going to Carl Illinois College of Medicine at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, otherwise known as UYUC. Okay, I have to say that really slowly because I always mix up those letters. Like I'm pretty sure I've told people I'm going to IUIC, and no, I'm not going to IUIUC. <laughs> that reminds me of. Ayukuk, you know, like I A C U C, like the Ayukuk mice best handling practices. No, so I'm not going to that, and I'm not going to I U I C. I'm going to U I U C, Carl Illinois College of Medicine. And some of you may not know, but this is an engineering-based medical school. And so, what is an engineering-based medical school? Well, good thing I'm gonna make an entirely separate YouTube video about what that exactly entails. But in short, a lot of the entering class of medical students here studied engineering in either their bachelor's, master's, or PhD. And we have engineering principles infused in the curriculum. So essentially it's approaching medicine through the lens of engineering. And if you've been following this channel for a while, uh, we love you know engineering here. And the whole mission of the school resonates with me and what I want to achieve in the future. And so that is why I am now here. And yeah, if you want, I could definitely make a video on my application that I submitted to this school and the whole process that comes with applying to this school because the process of applying to Carl is very similar to applying to medical school is actually the same process but there's a few things that are slightly different that i actually did not even know until i was actually in the application process so there's a lot of things that i think people should know before applying to this school and hopefully that'll be helpful for those who are interested in pursuing this 
type of curriculum in the future. So I'm actually here at the school. I moved here like a week ago. Like, if you can't tell, I'm in a different place. Because I only had one suitcase when I was moving over here, I was pretty limited in terms of the number and amount of things that I can pack and take with me. And I had this great struggle about which should take greater precedence. My YouTube filming equipment or my underwear. I almost packed my camera tripods instead of my undergarments. You know, paint is temporary, but film is forever. But no, so I actually ended up, you know, taking the responsible path and packed all my undergarments and left all my tripods in California. Currently, you can't see it, but my filming setup is extremely janky. This camera is sitting on like three boxes of Cheerios and you can't even tell. See, that's engineering. If you look up engineering in the dictionary, it says, Building makeshift tripods with Cheerio boxes. Put that on your medical school application. <laughs> My white coat ceremony happened about a week ago, and this past week was all of orientation week. And then coming up next week are classes. I haven't studied for a class in approximately three years, so this will be an adjustment to say the least. But videos on all of that, orientation week and the white coat ceremony is coming soon. I have footage on everything. I just need to edit it. I'm also super excited to feature my classmates in my videos. They are an interesting bunch and I am really excited that a lot of them are more than happy to appear as guests in my channel. So if you're getting tired of hearing my voice and looking at my face, do not fear because there are extras coming soon. So yeah, it's currently the summer before my first year of medical school and I have classes already. It's pretty funny because when I think back to the summer before undergrad, I was just chilling. What did I even do that summer? So the summer before college, I remember I visited New Orleans, I played a lot of soccer, and I went on an Alaskan cruise. There were a lot of people at least quadruple my age but you know honestly partying with the older generation is a great time okay third topic of today's video is the future direction of this channel i still want to make computational chemistry videos and i definitely want to continue that type of research throughout medical school obviously there's going to be a less emphasis on quantum mechanics within medicine but something that i'm particularly fascinated and excited about delving more deeply into is machine learning within medicine Medicine. And so hopefully all of those skills that I picked up doing this machine learning and computational chemistry research can now be transferable to the context of medicine. I still will be making bioengineering videos. This is an engineering based medical school. So hopefully a lot of that content will still be relevant to the stuff that I'm currently doing. I also do want to continue making college related videos. I know a lot of the people who watch my videos are either entering college or in the middle of college. So hopefully those videos will still be helpful for you. Particularly, I want to make videos comparing my two experiences, undergrad versus medical school, which isn't really a fair comparison, but I think it's interesting to reflect on my experiences in undergrad from the lens of a current medical student. Like some things are just a lot clearer in hindsight. You know, as I'm sitting here filming this video, I even wonder is it worth it studying an engineering degree in undergrad if you want to go to medical school? You know, should you go to Berkeley if you want to go to medical school? Because there's that whole problem with grade deflation, which could put you at a significant disadvantage when you're submitting your medical school applications. And I also want to compare, you know, the whole Berkeley vibe versus the whole UIUC vibe. I already had some conversations with some of my friends who I did undergrad at Berkeley with who are currently studying at UIUC. UIUC because both are big public research universities with a heavy emphasis on engineering. Obviously, I'm not studying strictly engineering graduate stuff here. I'm in the medical school, but I don't know. I feel like it could be an interesting comparison. Also to correct me if I'm wrong, but the two founders of YouTube did their undergrad in CS at UIUC. So this is fate. And then lastly, I'll obviously be making a lot of medical school related videos. So day in the life, week in the life, lots of meme videos about the MCAT coming soon, the trauma of applying to medical school. You know, I didn't have my YouTube channel in undergrad, so I never had a chance to document that whole process and look back on the evolution and maturation of myself from the beginning of freshman year to the end of the four years at Berkeley. And now I'm grateful that 
I have this and I'm able to do so. And I'm even more grateful for the two years post-graduation where I had the chance to, you know, go through the trial and error process of filming, scripting, and editing videos and playing around with the type of content that I want to create. And so now that I've sort of figured that out, I'm pretty excited to take this with me throughout my journey of the next four years of medical school. You know, something about myself, I learned that I love making videos and I love comedy. Uh, hopefully my videos are funny enough that they can fall under the category of comedy. So essentially I'm going to continue making these videos throughout medical school because I think it's important to continue doing the things that you're passionate about. So yeah, there is a lot to come and I just want to thank those of you who have been here since the beginning. I know some of you guys have been watching my videos since I had like a hundred subscribers, which is pretty crazy. I don't know what's to come. Uh, I don't know where this channel is going to be in say one year, three years, five years from now. If I'm still making videos then, I probably will. But one thing I do know is that we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs>